Hello everyone, this is Bradley. Today this is a preset tutorial talking about the separate RGB preset in Blender Shader. The whole idea is that we separate RGB of a given texture and give an offset on some color channel so that the white part becomes more colorful. I investigated this effect to solve this part of animation I was trying earlier. The setup is simple. You need a 1, 2, 3 coordinates to map each texture and color ramp. Two of them have an offset in opposite directions, one on the negative sides, the other on the positive sides, and the middle region stays as it is. The problem is that it would be better to presetize this entire setup with so many nodes. They duplicate three texture nodes and three color ramps into a single group to improve the user experience. Therefore, as we discussed in the last tutorial, we need to use closure. Here is how the node tree should look like using closures. Now I'm having only a single group of texture and color ramp. If I change parameters of it, this group of information will be passed equally to three pathways. Furthermore, we can put them into a group node and we can change the textures outside of this group node whether it's a color ramp or the entire texture. For example, I can switch the noise texture to a Voronoi texture, and I still have the RGB separation effect. This is the basic concept of separate RGB presets. In the actual preset usage, let's start from scratch and search for this preset. The closure is on this color socket. So let's pull this closure out. Within the closure, you will see a default vector input for coordinate and a float value of offset. Here, let's use this default vector to control our noise texture and use a color ramp to increase the contrast. Right now, we don't have a separate RGB effect without this offset. The idea is that, for example, you need a vector mask to add offsets. And uh, I need a vector to define the direction of offsets. For example, 100. If I plug this offset into the scale, then you will see a faint separation already on this horizontal direction. You can scale up the separation value on the group node. And remember, we have a decimal shift to control the position of your separation. Here, you can, of course, change the direction if you want, either directly through this vector mass or by using a vector rotate so you have an angle to tweak on top of this 100. This is the basic usage, but uh, there can be other forms of offset or RGB separation. Instead of a designed directional vector, I can also offset on the rotation value of the entire coordinate. It may not be obvious, so we can give a multiplier to the offset. You realize we have a separate RGB on the radial form. Also, farther to the top right corner, larger the offset we have. This is because by default, we're using UV map as the coordinate. And the UV map is from 0, 0 to 1, 1. If you want to center the direction of this rotation, you may use the center UV map. So we have 0, 0 at the center, negative 0 0.5 on the bottom left, and the positive 0 0.5 on the upper right. But the downside is we also offset it, our texture. You can reverse it by duplicating this center UV and check this reverse. So now we have the same texture mapping but our offsets are from central region. Similarly, you can also use vector skill on the original vector. It may not be obvious now, so we can disable this to central UV. You can see the offset is on far direction that red is getting farther away and the blue is getting towards the center. And we turn on the central UV, you will have the scaling direction to the actual center. 
on the middle of our plane. Due to this amount of variations, I expose the bone spectra and the offset in this closure. At the end, I also expose the color and the alpha differently, which it should be easy for you to find the use case. This is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably see you next time. Bye-bye.